Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Almost 200 illegals captured by Border Patrol in New Mexico, mostly Central American. The assault on our southern border continues. There are more and more illegal aliens being arrested every day by the Border Patrol and ICE. In Sunland Park, New Mexico, 180 illegal aliens were taken into custody in the early morning hours yesterday. As with many other groups, this collection of immigrants was primarily from Central America. The group was made up of families and unaccompanied juveniles. I would bet money it is made up of mostly men. A few days ago, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers in riot gear were deployed after a migrant group arrived in the El Paso, Texas border area. More than 30 migrants showed up at the Tornillo border after a continuous influx of migrants from Cuba, Central America and other countries arrived in Juarez in recent weeks. Since last October, El Paso CBP and Border Patrol agents have been conducting mobile field force training exercises using riot gear, in preparation for the possibility that migrant caravans attempt to rush the border. This type of training is happening in many places along the border and in numerous states. Border Patrol EMTs conducted initial medical screenings and determined that some of the illegal aliens required additional attention. This is the second group of more than 100 people since the beginning of the fiscal year in the Sunland Park area. Similar large groups are being encountered at other border locations in the El Paso sector. More on the arrests in New Mexico U.S. Border Patrol agents arrested the illegal border crossers for violating the immigration laws of this country. Border Patrol EMTs conducted initial medical screenings and determined that some of the subjects required additional attention. Sunland Park Emergency Medical Service responded to the scene where they provided medical attention and determined that some of the illegal aliens needed further medical treatment. Those in need of further medical attention were transported to a local hospital. This is a situation that Border Patrol agents continue to face in southern New Mexico, hundreds of parents and children being encountered by agents after having faced a dangerous journey in the hands of unscrupulous smugglers. This is the second group of more than 100 people since the beginning of the fiscal year in the Sunland Park area. Similar large groups are being encountered at other border locations in the El Paso sector. Criminal organizations continue to exploit the immigration system in order to enhance their illicit activities without due regard to the risks of human life. In most cases these smugglers never cross the border themselves in order to avoid apprehension. There was also an officer involved shooting in southern New Mexico after an illegal immigrant fled a checkpoint and held a child hostage during a standoff. Incidents like this happen frequently. The incident took place on I-25 near the state's border with Mexico. From Cobb 4 According to state police, a driver failed to stop at the Border Patrol checkpoint and led agents on a chase. Police say the male driver then armed himself and barricaded himself inside a vehicle while holding a seven-year-old child hostage. A state police officer then fired a shot hitting the suspect. The child was not harmed. The suspect was taken to a hospital and his condition is unknown. With so many people illegally coming over the border, this can only be viewed as a dangerous emergency situation. Drugs, weapons, and human trafficking are rampant on the border and it has to be stopped. The New Mexico and Texas incidents prove that President Trump is doing the right thing here by building a wall and declaring a national emergency. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.